Aloha. Um, it's been a hot minute since I've posted. A long time actually. Uh, so for those that are still subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. Um, and yeah, I, I've been in Thailand working with the medicine uh, and facilitating. I'll leave descriptions uh, to our website and Instagram and social medias down below for anyone who's interested. And yeah, so right now I've, I've just finished five ceremonies in a row and I'm quite tired, um, quite exhausted. So I've just gone to town, booked a nice hotel room and yeah, just spending some good time pampering myself in uh, the material world, you know, so when you travel to different dimensions and different uh, different heavens and hells on a regular basis, you need to, it's very important to ground back down to earth. And this is also a message for people who just do psychedelics on a regular basis. You know, it can bring you um, out of touch with reality. And even if this reality is just one reality, this reality is very important. Um, so, you know, our work, our careers, our relationships, our connections, our, our health, our social well-being, uh, they're all a part of this reality and they are all uh, things that we have to nurture in our lives as well. So uh, a, common, a common question that people ask me often after ceremony is, you know, I, I'm, I'm starting to lose it. I'm starting to lose the post Aya glow or the post mushroom clarity um, from what the teachers have taught us um, by that I mean plant teachers and that's that's a common thing you know we, we as long as it remains a beautiful experience it, it's always going to be in the back in, in our mind uh, it's always going to be an experience and and not what we're living in this moment and the way that I feel plant medicine, ayahuasca especially, works is that she's just working within your body. Um, so post-ceremony, it's important to have a mindfulness practice that keeps you in the present moment because actually the more relaxed you are body-wise, the less going on up here thinking-wise, uh, the more Mother Aya is going to be more you can you can feel her presence a lot more um, when the mind is quiet, when the body is relaxed, and and she's she's with you always. We're just working in you, and that's why I made this video. It's it's to see life as just one giant ayahuasca ceremony. And if if you've ever done medicine, medicine of any kind in a ceremonial shamanic context, you're gonna know how sacred that space is, uh, that people hold for you, that people hold with you. And even when ceremony has ended, it's uh, it's important to see life as that space and see your own space as that sacred space. You know, everything you do in ceremony, um, how mindful you are with your thoughts, how connected you are with your intuition, how quiet you are with other people around you, how mindful you are of their energies. You can you can live life that way, you know, like taking every step in that ceremony room, just making sure it's light, making sure it's gentle, being very loving and caring with your thoughts instead of pushing them away sometimes or trying to distract of anything else. Just sitting with them and, sh and, and allowing our thoughts to really show us um, what they're here uh, to show us the message they have for us, you know, whether it's to be kinder, whether it's to be more forgiving, more patient with yourself, um, first and foremost, and just being able to listen in ceremony when, when the facilitators are singing Icaros or playing music and, and allowing your mind to journey through sound is also what you can do in day to day life, you know, to to just listen to the birds, even listen to the traffic, listen to footsteps, listen to people talking. Everything is really symbology and everything can really guide your life um, if you treat it as ceremony and know that, you know, she'll never ever really leave you. She might, it might seem like she's left you, that Aya, the presence of Aya is no longer there, but that's really just her way of teaching you, hey, find it some other way, you know, find it. 
from not drinking me every month. Find it from going to work. Find it from having a coffee. Find it from going to the gym. You know, you can tap into her all the time. And I guess I see her in a way as God or Goddess, Mother Ayahuasca. Oh, she is definitely very high up there um, in those realms. So yeah, see life as just one giant ceremony. Um, I hope this helps anyone going through integration. Uh, and yeah, uh, any any questions or anything, just comment or, or even better, just check out the social media links below, guys. If you're even interested in doing plant medicine, it's available in Asia. Um, we have a beautiful team here. Everyone's been uh, trained well in uh, traditions from Peru and been to Peru. So yeah, I hope to see you when I do. Peace.